Today we have a very hot topic, uh, peppers. You're going to ask the questions, can you prevent heart attacks, myocardial infarctions uh, with uh, food, in particular with the chili peppers. We're going to look at what do peppers have, what do they do, and how much peppers uh, do we uh, actually need to have these benefits. At the end of the video, I'll give you a bonus. I'll show you uh, the best way to shop for peppers, which one are the healthiest. As you know, heart disease continues to be our number one uh, killer. It has been number one killer since 1918, the year the Spanish flu. And data for last year, 2021, showed again heart disease number one killer, 700,000 cancer number two in America with 600,000 people, and uh, COVID with 415,000 uh, stole the number three spot ahead of strokes and unintentional injuries. And of these cardiac deaths, more than half are uh, sudden. And sudden death, although may have some warning signs, I'll show you a link to one of the videos I did on warning signs of sudden cardiac arrest. Many times, sudden cardiac arrest is the first and often the last uh, uh, symptom. What's chili peppers? So they uh, belong to a genus capsicum, and it's actually a berry, native of South America and Central America. And the Portuguese uh, traders, my ancestors, in the 15th and 16th century, took it to Europe and then to Asia and in particular to India. And uh, peppers have been part of the human diet since 7500 BC. And in 2020, there was 36 million tons of uh, green chili peppers were produced worldwide, almost half of them in China. And how do we uh, compare peppers? Uh, we actually, there is a scale called the Scoville Heat Scale, and it varies from the Carolina Ripper, the Trinidad Scorpion, to uh, with 2 million plus units to bell peppers with uh, none. Here's an example of common peppers. Uh, bell peppers with uh, uh, no heat units, so Fresno jalapeno with 3,500 to 10,000, to habanero with uh, 1,000 to 350,000. And here are seven examples of different peppers, the habanero, the fresno jalapeno, uh, to uh, banana peppers. And here is a map of Italy, south and east of Rome, called Molise. And this part of uh, Italy, they did a study called the Molly Sunny Study, published in the Journal of American Culture Cardiology in 2019. And they looked at 22,000 people. They followed them up for eight years. And people who had chili peppers four or more times a week, they had decrease in all-cause mortality by 23%, by cardiovascular mortality by 33%, by ischemic heart disease mortality by 44%, and stroke mortality by 61%. Uh, Pretty impressive data. And there was not just one study. There is a other study, China Kandori uh, Biobank study, where they looked at half a million people and they follow up for 7.2 years. And again, they look at spicy foods six to seven times a week versus people who don't have any spicy foods. And again, there was decrease in uh, total mortality by 14%, a decrease in uh, uh, ischemic heart disease mortality by 22%. There was also a decrease in cancer uh, mortality. So what's going on with peppers? What do they have? Well, they have a substance called capsaicin, and that's the chemical that gives you the heat, the burning sensation. But uh, they have other compounds. They have they have capsaicinoids, they have carotenoids, they have uh, phytochemicals, they have antioxidants, they have uh, flavonoids. Uh, so what do uh, they do? What do peppers do? Well, they decrease your appetite, they increase your satiety. So they're going to decrease the calorie intake and have an effect in the abdominal fat and obesity. Uh, they're going to, people who season uh, food with peppers have a tendency to use less salt, beneficial for your blood pressure. They improve uh, response to insulin. They reduce oxidation of the bad cholesterol, the LDL. They are anticoagulant, antiplatelets. They improve endothelial function. One of the layers on the arteries in your body and uh, all beneficial effects. 
Here are the physiologic effects of peppers. They are uh, antioxidant, they are anti-obesity, they are anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, anti-high blood pressure, anti-microbial, they improve uh, your insulin resistance, anti-diabetic. In conclusion, heart disease continues to be our number one killer. More then half of these deaths are sudden, addressing the classical risk factors, high blood pressure, the diabetes, high cholesterol, the smoke are important, but are not enough. And eating chili peppers four or more times a week decreases total cardiovascular and cerebrovascular mortality, mortality due to heart disease and strokes. And chili peppers also have a beneficial effect on obesity uh, and uh, diabetes. And here's the bonus that I promise you, how to shop for peppers to obtain the most beneficial health effect. Fresh are better than dried peppers, and better the hot sauces, the piri piri and so on. And if you don't like spicy foods, the good news is uh, sweet peppers, they also had a beneficial effect, not as uh, uh, much as the hot peppers. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated. Why don't let's just take control? If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, write a comment, ask a question. So I publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month. Let's spice it up. See you next video.